In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run Crossfire on Deviation. The radio here is the Jumper T8SG+, which is a multi-protocol radio with a JR module bay in the back. I'm using the Crossfire Micro TX JR module, and this requires a slight hardware mod and a firmware update to the radio. There's no Lua script support quite yet, so to make any changes to the receiver or the module, you'll need to use a Tyrannus radio. The hardware mod is pretty straightforward. First you need to remove these tabs from the top to open the radio. Remove all the screws and remove the uh, back plate. Inside you'll find the pins to the JR module bay. First you need to solder a wire between the first and last pins because Jumper didn't connect the last pin to anything so it has no signal. Then you need to remove the first pin because we can't send the same signal to the module from both pins. What you want to do is cut below the plastic and just slide it out. This is 100% reversible. You can just slide it back in and re-solder. But um, unless you plan to use another module, it's not really necessary. Once you've done that, you can just put the radio back together and the hardware mod is complete. Now you might want to update the module to the latest version. This is pretty straightforward. Just download the TBS agent software and plug it in via USB and just give it a minute or two to update. Next, we need to download the firmware to update the radio. This is on Deviation's website. Go to downloads and nightly builds, find today's date and choose the latest firmware for the TSG plus. Download the zip and then you'll need to download the updater. This is a Java client that runs on both Windows and Mac. It's called Deviation Upload. Download the latest version and open it up. Now you want to put your radio into DFU mode. To do this, you hold the back button, which is the lower left button beside the screen, and power it up. Plug it in via USB, and now you can open up the Deviation Uploader. Once inside, click on the DFU tab, load up the folder that you downloaded, and within there, find the .dfu file. This is all you need to update the firmware. Choose that, click Open, and finally click Send. This will send the firmware over to the radio, and you'll be up to date. Now you can set up your model. So when you turn on your radio, you'll see the version of deviation there. Just uh, double check to make sure that your update went as planned. And let's press the enter button a few times to get you into the model setup. Scroll down to the protocol option, and you should now have a CRSF option. There's no menu quite yet, so hopefully a developer will add this. And it should just work. I didn't include any of the binding or wiring instructions for the Crossfire receiver to the module. You can find a lot of tutorials on that. But um, as you can see, it works just great. I've been flying it for several days now on the radio, and I have had no issue. It's smooth, no latency, no dropouts, and I'm really happy with it. Now, the only problem is we don't have Lua scripts yet, but the developer is working on a menu. Hopefully, we'll be able to configure both the module and the receiver through deviation as well. Um, there's no promises, but he is looking into it. Now this will work without the Lua scripts, but you won't be able to change any of the failsafe settings or even the output power of the transmitter. Um, that being said, hopefully we'll see it in the future. And if you do have a Tyrannus, then you can use that to change the settings. Or if you have a friend with a Tyrannus, you can use theirs as well. I hope this was helpful, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, bye.